The front page of Sport, the uh, Spanish newspaper saying, my time at Bayern is over. Mundo Deportivo, the Catalan newspaper as well, saying Lewandowski, Bayern war. It's interesting that Spain have got involved as well in this as well. The ever shy and retiring, Javier Tavas, the La Liga president, has come out and said, Barca know what they have to do. They know their financial situation perfectly. I don't know if they will sell De Jong, Pedri or a Pepito Perez. It's very famous clown back in the day, Craig. Uh, Barca have had many accumulated losses in recent years, so that could have been avoided. And they have to fill the pantry, just like how Madrid have filled it. Barcelona's is empty. Today, they cannot sign Lewandowski. Barca president, Jan Laporta, responded by saying, I ask that he abstain from making comments about possible signings by Barca. Uh, for more on this, we welcome in, well, Shaq is here, and Sid Lowe in Spain. Sid, me and Craig were discussing this just before we went on air. Why does Tebas keep talking? <laughs> Yeah, um, and, and I think that's a, a really pertinent point, and I think it's a pertinent point that, that Laporta makes as well. We've talked about this before, haven't we, Dan? We've talked about there is one thing that is worse for a club going into the market than having no money, and that is a club going into the market knowing that everybody else knows that they've got no money either. The position that you're in, in terms of trying to sell your players, in trying to get the best deal, is massively weakened by that by that knowledge, by the awareness of, of the situation you're in. And so even if Tebas was in a position where you say, OK, everything he's saying is true and everything he's saying is right, and, and up to a point there's a degree of him trying to admonish Barcelona for continuing to chase people that he believes they can't pay for right now. But as Laporta rightly says, it doesn't help us. It doesn't help us for this knowledge to be out there. It doesn't help us for him to talk. And as Laporta said today, he says, you know, this is either a, a kind of an accidental thing, in which case he's, he's, he's got a case of verbal incontinence, or he's doing it deliberately, in which case we've really got to ask ourselves why. And this shouldn't yeah. be happening. And, and it certainly doesn't help Barcelona. That said, look, the fundamental problem obviously isn't what Tebas says. The fundamental problem is the things that Tebas is talking about. But it doesn't help La Liga also, does it, say? No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. One thing I suppose that, that, that possibly, to, to try and kind of explain Tebas' position in this, he's so focused on that economic control and he, he, he's very conscious that he at least believes that this is the right thing to do. And of course, he was forced through last summer, even at the cost of lo losing Lionel Messi. So I think he wants to demonstrate that, that he's firm on this, that he's not going to back down on this, that you have to do things the right way. But as you say, it, it, it doesn't help in terms of the image of the league. It doesn't help in terms of Barcelona's bargaining position. And in that sense, at least, there are plenty of people, and, and obviously people within the, if you like, the kind of administrative structures of Spanish football, as well as just at the clubs, who think, look, once in a while, it wouldn't be a bad thing to just not say so much. You want to, you want to give Ted by some of those books behind you, said, get him to shut up. For a little bit. <laughs> I love that shut him up. We go read, go and do something. He's got, not, he's got nothing better to do. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he can administer uh, the rules and regulations, the financial rules and regulations on Barcelona and every other club, as he has been doing, as Sid mentioned, and he has been strict. But when they sign, if they sign a player, how are you going to make it work? You know, are you going to be able to register these players, this player and that player? This is just hearsay at the moment. Why is the guy, the top Johnny at La Liga, getting involved in hearsay mm. around other clubs' potential signings? We understand, and everybody understands, and Barcelona understand more than anybody. I'm sure, I mean, I would like to think they do, by this stage, with all the problems they've had, that there are certain criteria that have to be met. And they understand if they can't meet that criteria, Daniel, then they're not going to be able to register or, sign the, or certainly uh, uh, register and play the player. Once it gets to that point, then it's a problem for Tebas. Yeah. Th this is not. This is just transfer talk. This is just potential negotiations. This is just a game of bluff between clubs, players, agents. We're way off the stage he's got to, the, at the moment. Uh, he's got to worry about whether Barcelona can make this work. How far are Barca off meeting that criteria to bring Lewandowski in, Sid? <sighs> a very, very long way. Um, except that, of course, a very long way as things currently stand. And one, one of the key parts of what Teba said today was a día de hoy. In other words, taking things as they are today. Barcelona can't do this. So now, how do you sort that out? As he said himself, it's, talk, it's talking about increasing income and selling assets, if needs be. Now, Barcelona have talked quite a lot over the last uh, 
what would it be, two, three weeks about, about what they describe as palancas, leverage, leverage economically. How do they make the money to be able to make this happen? Well, part of it was the, the sale of 49% of Barca Studios. They now will put to the, um, to the members' assembly and, and, and a, a, general assembly, a general members' assembly, which they're calling for the, for the uh, second week of June, whether or not they sell Barca licensing and merchandising, 49% of that, and whether they sell 25% of future TV rights. Now, they believe, according to their calculations, that this could raise as much as 700 million euros. Now, at that point, of course, things change and change dramatically. But Barcelona are still in a very difficult position. Now, to try and give you the basic numbers, Barcelona's actual salary mass is around about 450, 500 million euros at the moment. Their salary limit, in other words, what they're allowed to spend on their, on their squad, is minus 144. Now, that doesn't mean this is what you're actually spending. It means that's where we calculate in terms of allowing you to bring new people in. Because they're on a minus number, any any money that they invest in players has to be demonstrated that they have saved four times that much to do so. In other words, let's say for argument's sake that Lewandowski cost them 10 million euros, they have to be able to demonstrate that they saved 40 million euros before they can commit that 10 million euros. Now, that's a very simplistic way of looking at that, but that's basically how it works. So in other words, the answer to your question, can they bring in Lewandowski, is no. But if they can move things out or generate sufficient money to push that number back up and to be able to get back into, into the black, then yes, they can. The problem is that's a very, very difficult process. But that's why, the, that's why Teba should be answering questions as, as, as not, not uh, naming individual clubs. Yep. That's not his job. He should be answering any questions that come his way about players coming to La Liga in a way, in my opinion, by saying something along the lines of, well, every club is well aware of the criteria that has to be met. It's almost like a personal vendetta at the moment from him, for, for him because of Barcelona's financial woes and him showing this strong arm tactic, which is not a problem. If you have rules and regulations, then, yeah, you've got to try and make sure clubs stick to them. But you have to be more, I think, when you're, when you're uh, the man that's in, the, in, in charge of the governing body uh, of, La Le of the league, you have to be more generic, I think, in your answer. It's, it's, it's not just Barcelona and Real Madrid. There's a host of other clubs, and you should be talking about these clubs in a very generic manner, not in a very personal manner, by saying, oh, Barcelona can't sign him. Oh, Valencia can't sign him. Yeah. The clubs know the strict criteria that we have set down, and they have to meet it. We won't speak to Shakra about budgeting because obviously still can't afford AC as the summer is here. Uh, let's well, see. It just doesn't switch it on. <laughs> it's a money saver. Uh, Shaq, overall, if you're Barcelona, is Lewandowski your number one priority or should it be? Um, I, no, not, not at the numbers I, I think that it would take to bring Lewandowski in, given, given the position that, that they're in. And I'm in agreement with both Sid and Craig on, on, on how... I, I'm not sure how they make that happen. Creative accounting got them into trouble. Um, I, I'm not sure how creative accounting gets them out of trouble. But you, you've got Obama Yang, who's, who's there and, and filling, filling a void and, and did very well since, since he arrived in January. Um, and just given the, the finances of, of the situation, I'm not sure that he's the, he's the or replacing him with, with a, a, a high-priced acquisition is, is top of your, your need-to-do list. Yeah, I think you've got to be careful to not be throwing all the, you know, the baby out with the bathwater here, because as great as Lewandowski is, and Sid knows a way more about it than me and has, has already touched on it, a lot of pieces of the, the jigsaw have to move mm. for this Lewandowski potential transfer to happen, but there's no long-termism in, in Lewandowski, primarily because, obviously, his age, there's, there's, there's a couple of years, probably, maybe three at a stretch. We know he wanted three, or once wanted three from, from Bayern Munich. It looks like there's no talks at all now. So you have to be careful about what pieces of that uh, jigsaw and that, you know, the, the chess moves that you make to try and be able to make it happen when, realistically, you're only going to get a couple of years yeah. out of the player. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.